how lucky these fish are? They just get to stay in the same spot, right? When that water starts to warm, their main thing, think about a bass. Two pounder on a Delaware, it's like a giant. His, <laughs> his brain's the size of a pea. And you'd think that fish is stupid. He is smart and he's instinctual. And when that temperature hits that range, he goes, doing, spawn. I have to spawn. That's what he does. And, and they want the same kind of areas they want it in the winter. They don't want current. If they build a bed, they can't have that current ripping, Bill. The eggs are gone. In about 15 minutes, the eggs are down by the Commodore Barry. They don't want current. And they want hard bottom, right? They don't want a mucky, yucky bottom. They can't, they can't fan it out. It doesn't work. They don't want that soft bottom. And they want a mean depth. They want that depth that if that tide drops out seven foot, he's got to have, like Cliff said, he's got to have a foot of water on his head. And I've seen them with their backs out on a dead low tide staying on that bed on tidal water, especially in Delaware. But they have to have a little bit of water. So a lot of the same exact places you'd fish in the winter on tidal rivers, back of the northeast, back of Mattawoman, they're also going to spawn in those slacker water, deeper water areas. But here's the problem. You've got a huge, huge population of fish that winter in here. I mean, so good that on the right day with a silver buddy or crankbait, you feel one on every cast. I'm not kidding you. I've been in this place in the winter where I throw out there with a, with a you know, like a DT6 or a shad wrap, and I'm reeling it, and I go, Doom. I go, oh, man. And I come back, and I got a scale on there. The next cast, Doom. oh, my God, was that a bite? I don't know. Scale. Third cast, Doom. oh, I got them that time. Two pounder, giant. They're stacked in there. But what happens in the winter is they're OK with being in crowded conditions. They're all right. Hey, man, what's up? How you doing? I'm OK. They're OK with being crowded, like you guys today in this room. Uh, but when the spawn happens, they don't like that. They don't like to be crowded during the spawn. They don't, they don't want to be like bluegill beds, bed, 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 bed. They just don't like it. You know what I mean? Absolutely. You've seen it before. They don't like anything being near their bed. So, Here's my rule of thumb on tidal water. In the spring, about half of the fish in the areas that you find in the winter are going to stay and spawn right there. And that's great. Same place. The other half are forced to vacate and find different spawning grounds. So that's why in the spring, you see a lot of the smaller places that have those same attributes load up in the spring, right? So half of them are going to stay in the spring. And the other half are going to travel to places like that, the, the, the industrial squares, the little tiny creeks with that deep water cut, uh, the marinas with seawalls. Even though that marina is super deep, you get into a marina, it's 20 foot, or it's, it's an industrial square, it's 20 feet, and you go, that fish is not going to spawn in 20 foot. Where is that fish going to spawn in that cut on a tidal body of water? Where is he going to spawn? on the seawall itself. Man, look at a seawall. Most of those seawalls are built. It looks straight, but about four or five foot down, you've got a step. Four or five foot down, you've got a step. God, I can't tell you how many I see spawn on those seawalls. Or it's a super deep cutback. It's a marina cutback. It's 20 foot all the way around. You go, God, there's nowhere to spawn. But in the very back corner, there's a lay down wedged in the corner of that marina. It's 20 foot all around it. God, this is too deep for them to spawn but it's on a low tide and I'm in there, I look, there's two of them spawning on that laydown. And the information Bash University provides isn't your basic run-of-the-mill fishing video. This is specific information from A to Z to help you learn, get to the water, and become a better angler quickly.